So just sitting up nice and tall, taking a few moments to wiggle in, getting your spine nice and long. And just close your eyes. Close your eyes so you can sense and feel what is going on for your body today. Noticing any tight spots, any tension, any areas that are gonna be needing a little more gentleness. So just being aware of those areas, always listening to your body, and if anything that I suggest doesn't feel right, then just don't do it. I'm gonna start just by lowering, lowering our chin down to our chest. So just allowing the back of your neck to stretch out. Taking a few moments, bowing to what is, bowing to what's happening in your body, bowing and accepting what's happening in your world. Taking a few breaths here. And then very slowly we'll make a nice big circle with our nose just to Draw it in a circle, see how your neck is feeling. Releasing any tension, releasing any need to control anything. And then slowly taking your nose in the other direction. Nice big circle. Beautiful. And then coming back to center, just taking your shoulders up to your ears and then letting them roll down your back nice and slow, expanding your chest. And let's bring our left hand to our heart, our right hand over top. Maybe close your eyes again, connecting with that peace and love inside of you. And I came upon a quote by Thich Nhat Hanh today that I thought was very fitting. It said, if we are peaceful, if we are happy, we can smile and blossom like a flower. Everyone in our family, our entire society, will benefit from our peace. So bringing a smile to your face, connecting with that inner peace that we all have, and just breathing into your heart center. Beautiful, let's open our eyes, flutter them open, and bring your hands back down. And to help with getting you into that peaceful state, we're gonna do our alternate nostril breathing. We did this last week. So taking your um, peace fingers and bringing them down so your ring finger and your thumb are up. We're gonna use the thumb and the ring finger to block off one side and then the other. And I'll just guide you through this exercise so we're going to take a nice big breath in, closing off the right nostril and exhaling through the left. And then inhale through the left, closing that side and exhaling through the right. Inhale through the right, close and exhale through the left. Inhale through the left, close and exhale through the right. Inhale right, close, exhale left. Inhale left, close and exhale right. Bringing your hand down, maybe bringing your breath back to its natural rhythm. Close your eyes, checking in to see how you're feeling now. So by doing alternate nostril breathing, we're balancing out the left and right hemisphere of our brain, getting that feeling part of ourselves and that thinking part of ourselves to be in balance. So bringing our hands down to the floor, we're going to 
Inhale those arms up towards the ceiling. And then just bringing your right arm down to the mat, stretching the left arm up a little bit higher and reaching it over towards the right. Breathing into that space. And then coming back to center, letting your arm float back down to the mat. We'll reach both arms back up to the ceiling. Good. Bringing the left hand down to the floor, reaching up and coming over to the left. Beautiful. Taking a breath or two here. And then back to center, letting that arm float back down to the floor. We'll just do a little twist, taking the left hand to the right knee. Right hand comes behind and gently looking over your shoulder. Taking a few moments to breathe here. And then coming back to center, taking the right hand to the left knee, left hand behind, gently looking over your left shoulder. And then coming back to center again. We're going to come onto our hands and knees, and we're going to get the spine moving a little bit. So coming into our table position, getting your wrists underneath your shoulders and your shoulder or your knees underneath your hips. Fingers are nice and wide. Let's just move back and forth from a round cat to a sway back cow. So just moving with your breath, getting that upper back up towards the ceiling as you exhale. And then letting your belly sink down and head and tailbone come up as you inhale. Moving back and forth. Nice and slow and steady. Maybe close your eyes here so you can really check in with what's going on for you. And then coming back into our neutral spine, we're going to curl those toes under, just leaning back so you can feel the pressure on your toes, just giving a little stretch. And then slowly lifting the hips up towards the ceiling. You can bring one heel down at a time, coming into a walking dog, letting your head come in between your arms. Checking in to see how those calves are feeling as you walk each leg out. Making sure your wrists feel okay here. And then we'll bring our knees back down to the mat, coming into our sway back cow. And then exhale, rounding back into the cat. Moving back and forth again with your breath. Beautiful. Coming back to center. Let's take our hands over to the right. So we're going to make a little bit of a C shape with our waist and looking over that right shoulder. Taking a couple moments just to breathe into that space. And then we'll come back to center and then taking your hands over to the left, looking over your left shoulder, breathing into that right side. And then coming back to center, curling your toes, we're going to come back into our downward facing dog, this time bringing your heels all the way to the mat. Head in between your arms, bringing your belly button in towards your spine, making a nice upside down V, maybe shaking your head, yes and no. And then we'll bring our knees back down to the floor. Let's inhale, bringing the sway back cow again. Exhale, rounding into the black cat. And back and forth two more times. And 
And then we'll curl the toes, coming back up into downward facing dog again. And this time we're going to bring the right leg up towards the ceiling. You can bend your knee, maybe make some circles with your knee, making sure it feels right for you. And then taking it in the other direction, nice and slow. And setting that foot down, let's bring our knees back to the mat and doing a couple of cat cows again. And then coming back into down dog, lifting the hips. We'll take the left leg up to the ceiling, bending that knee and just making some circles. And then the other direction. And setting your foot down, let's bring our knees back to the floor. And we're going to come back into our child's pose. So we're going to stay in child's pose for a bit. So if you wanted to use a pillow, you can place that underneath your hips if you'd like, or you can put it under your knees. And then just slowly coming forward. Letting your head relax either on the floor or on your stacked fists. Taking some time here just to be bowing down to what is. And allowing your breath to flow all the way down the length of your spine. Allowing your hips to sink a bit deeper. Allowing yourselves to just ease into this pose. Softening, rounding, breathing. Feeling that beautiful connection with the mat, with the floor, with Mother Earth. Feeling grounded and connected. very slowly just making your way back out of that pose you can remove your pillow and we're going to set the pillow up underneath our or crossways on your mat we're going to come into another pose where our legs are zigzag and we have our hip against the uh, pillow or the bolster. And we're going to just lay down onto that bolster with our arms stretched out, letting your head rest on your arm, and then taking your opposite arm and stretching it up and over. So you're feeling a nice stretch all the way down the length of that side body. If it's too intense for your arm to be overhead, you can always bend it and maybe bring it behind you or set it maybe a little further in front of you. So just play around with it. If it feels okay for you to have it overhead, keep it like this, making sure there's no tingling happening in your fingers. And just taking some time here to breathe into the space you're creating. You close your eyes. We're going to hang out here for another minute or so. I'm just noticing as you breathe and as you exhale, what's releasing? What is letting go?
always interesting to notice what parts of your body are holding and as you breathe into them and then exhale how things can gradually open and create more space So just stay here for 10 more breaths. And then slowly, just taking your arm and bringing it back down by your side, maybe using it on the floor to ease your way back up. So taking nice, slow movements, no quick motion needed here when we're doing our yin poses. And we're going to get ready to do the other side. So you can face the other way or you can swing yourself around. I'll swing myself around here. So I can still kind of see you. So get your legs set up again in a little bit of a zigzag and position your pillow or your bolster or your rolled up blanket, whatever you're using, so that you can lie down and just have it just underneath the um, breast area, getting your arms stretched out and resting your head down. And then when you're ready, you can reach that left arm up and over. Settling in with a couple of breaths all the way into that space. And just seeing how this side feels compared to the other side. Noticing if your arm feels okay on this side. Again, if it's not comfortable, you can take your arm and just let it rest on your lower back or in front of you. You want to just make sure you're getting that stretch in the side body. So breathing all the way into that space. A lot of meridian lines are running up the side body, so it's good to stretch them out, those energy centers. Noticing the quality of your breath. And just getting your breath all the way down into that belly if you can. We'll take 10 more breaths here. And then slowly bringing your arm back up and just slowly bringing it down to the floor, using it to ease your way back up to sitting. And just taking your bolster or pillow, moving it away. We're going to come onto our bellies now. So getting yourself laying down, you can bring your elbows bent and just stack your hands on top of each other. We're going to put our forehead down on our hands and just taking a few moments just to settle into this pose on the floor. Your feet can be 
on the edges of your mat, so nice and wide, and then maybe just wiggling your hips back and forth, just so that you can get that, the hips, the legs to relax a little bit. And while you're here with your head down, breathing all the way down into your belly, filling your belly up nice and full, and as you exhale, feeling it sinking back down. We're going to come into Sphinx Pose here. So you can just bring your elbows underneath your shoulders. And having your arms out, you want to make sure that your hips stay nice and relaxed. So just wiggling them back and forth again, just to make sure that they are relaxed here. You want your shoulders away from your ears. And at any point, if your lower back is giving you pain, then definitely come out, lay back down. So listening to your body. You might feel a gentle pressure in your lower back, and that's okay. So just breathing into that area, allowing your shoulders to relax with each exhale. You might want to close your eyes here, having your chin parallel to the floor if that works for you. If it's too intense for your neck, you can always let your head hang down. So just doing what feels good for you. We're going to hold this for a couple more minutes. This is a good opportunity to go inside. Maybe ask yourself, what is it that you are not releasing? What are you holding on to? trying to control, and what would life be like if you let it go? So maybe pondering that. Just allowing, allowing your rib cage to sink a little deeper towards the floor, allowing your shoulders to release a little more, and allowing your breath to go all the way down into your belly. We'll just take 10 more breaths here. And then very slowly, we're going to come out of this taking your elbows and bringing them out to the side. We're going to let our left cheek rest down on our hands. And then taking your right knee and sliding it up. So we're coming into a little half frog pose here. Just allowing your back to get a little bit of relief here. So breathing all the way down into your back, allowing your hip to relax. Coming back to that peace and love inside of you. And then stretching your uh, right leg out, lifting your head up, we'll switch sides, we'll take our right cheek onto our hands, and then slide the left knee up towards your elbow. Just taking a few minutes, letting your back 
Release, letting your hip relax. And then taking that left leg back, let's bring our hands underneath our shoulders and ease our way back up. We're going to come on to our sits bones again. And just bringing your feet together. Coming into our butterfly pose. As we all are confined to our houses mostly, I feel that we are in the chrysalis stage of life <laughs> and we will soon be emerging as beautiful butterflies so just letting those knees flutter up and down like those beautiful wings that we're about to receive as when we get the go-ahead to go back outside and socialize again and then we'll just take our feet a little further apart bringing our hands to our toes we're going to come into a forward fold here so just allowing yourself to fold forward letting your head neck and shoulders relax here if you would like you can always use your uh, pillow or your bolster and bring it underneath your your hands stack your fists if you need a little bit more height you want your neck to be supported but if you feel that you don't need the support you can just hang out here making sure all the muscles in your face are relaxed so again just bowing to what is Bowing to this opportunity that we're all getting to slow down, to reflect, to reassess. And to determine what's really important to us. And taking five more breaths here. Breathing all the way up that back body. And then very slowly bringing yourself up and just bringing your knees together. Take your um, pillow or your bolster. We're going to bring it behind us. You can have your knees bent and then we're going to lay all the way down. So your head should be supported. You don't want it hanging off your pillow. So making any adjustments. You can have your hands out and we're going to either take our knees um, together if the if that feels good or you can come back into that beautiful butterfly pose letting your knees relax out here taking a few moments close your eyes and just allowing that heart space to expand that place to open as your shoulders relax and Drape towards the floor. So with each breath, just imagine a beautiful flower opening up in your heart, your chest. All the beautiful petals unfurling.
And then maybe while we're here, let's bring our left hand to our heart center, right hand over top, just so that we can remind ourselves to connect always with that peace and love. And then bringing a beautiful smile to your lips. So bringing the corners of your, of your mouth, your lips up. Allowing that joy to be felt. And we'll take five more breaths here. And then if your knees are open like a butterfly, let's Bring those wings back together. If your feet are out to the edges of the mat, just wiggle them back in. And we'll just slowly roll off of that pillow or bolster and just move it out of the side. We're gonna lay back down onto the floor. Bringing our knees in for a beautiful hug, honoring yourself for this practice tonight. And then we can bring our feet back down to the mat. And you can either have your feet out wide with your knees collapsing in. Or if you want to come into corpse pose, you can stretch your legs out nice and wide, taking up some space with your arms resting out. And just close your eyes here. Noticing all the sensations in your body. Feeling all parts connected to the floor. Connected to the earth. And just taking nice, slow breath. Feeling a wave of relaxation flowing over you. Moving from the top of your head, down your neck, down your shoulders and arms, all the way down your chest. and hips, down each of your legs, all the way down to the tips of your toes. Slowly just bringing a full breath into your belly, beginning to wiggle your fingers and toes, bringing your knees into your chest for a hug and slowly rocking and rolling onto your side.
And then coming all the way back up to sitting. So sitting up nice and tall, let's just bring our hands together at our heart center. Mm -hmm. Namaste and peace be with all of you. Mm -hmm.